I'm Vincent Kudrina, I'm 20 years old, and scootering is what I do. Well, as a kid, I was always into doing stuff outdoors and being active. I used to mess around on scooters, not really like seriously or anything. But my friend Brandon used to ride uh, skateboards everywhere. But he told me a bunch of people messed around on scooters at Claremont Skate Park, and I couldn't believe it at first. I was like, what, other people do this too? So I was pretty stoked, and I went and checked it out, and I've just been riding ever since then. Throughout high school, I did soccer and cross country and track, and those were all fun, but it was always really structured, and you're like on a team and stuff, you have people telling you what to do and all that. So when I got on the scooter, it was just like I was free. Like I didn't have like teammates telling me what to do or coaches like yelling at me or anything. I could just like express myself and do what, what I wanted to do. When I first started, I had the scooters from Target and Walmart and stuff where Razor Pro models that were like all rickety and you had to bolt it up before you could ride it. It was cool to be even introduced to that because at first I didn't even know you could fix it up and stuff. I just was riding it all sketch and once I figured out how you can make it actually rideable, it opened up so many new doors. I'm mobbing. It's sick. I mean, learning new tricks is kind of always on my mind. I'll just be sitting there and think, oh, I want to do this or I could add this onto something I've already done. If I think of something, it's always in my head that I want to do it. Kind of riding in competition against myself and like past videos and trying to make new tricks that are better and just a step above the other tricks I've already done. Front flips always stuck out to me as a trick I wanted to do because a lot of people had always been doing like back flips and stuff. And when I first tried them, I had them good on resi, but then when I took it back to the box and uh, the compound, I just over rotated and broke my collarbone. I've already finished rotating at the peak of my jump. I'm like up there, and Dakota's dad like tells me I'm okay in the air. And he's like, You're all right. <laughs> I just come down like on my face. This broken collarbone. There you go. Oh. So ever since that, I've loved the trick, and ever since falling on it, I've just always wanted to like make sure I could do it and perfect it. I'm always looking for like, gaps and stuff to front flip, so when I see something on the streets or anywhere, it's just like, can I front flip that? Is that front flippable? Or it's always just a fun thing for me to see what I can do it off and how far I can push like, my ability to do that trick.
progression of the sport, I definitely like where it's going. I mean, when I first started, I only had pro models and stuff, so it's really cool to see all the new brands and all like the different options of parts and styles that people have. I don't really understand the hate from like BMXers and skaters because their sports went through the same things right when they started too, so I mean, they just got to take a look back at their past too and realize that we were starting new and we might not be like the coolest ones yet, but we still have like time to grow and they need to like see that we have the potential. You could ride like a skateboard or a biker, you could want to do like big air tricks, you can do grinds, like a scooter is just like the perfect thing to do tricks on. This is everything I've ever wanted, ever since I first hit this wordplay, came I felt honored to be a part of this lifestyle, that one day could lead to superstardom. So my bars, I gotta keep power with my flow and full charge, like ghouls at a stampede, watch me give it all that I got. Speak to my viewers like I am the god, if you do what you love, forget the stress, invest every second to be the best that you can be, cause in your league, you're the only one, you don't gotta compete, but if you do, Choose you, cause in the end you might prove what you've been trying to accomplish. This is my passion, it's what I do. This is my passion, it's what I do. This is my passion, it's what I do. This is my passion. It's what I do. Scootering gives me friends, traveling, the opportunity to land tricks that people have never landed before. Having signature parts I never thought I would have, little kids just looking out to me. All these opportunities scootering has given me has put me places I never thought I'd be, and without it, I don't know what I'd be doing today. It's just something that I'm extremely thankful for and that I would never give up. Hey, keep going. We'll catch you as you come down. What? We'll catch you as you come down. Marvelous. Yeah. So we got Chris over here at the glide cam getting ready for Vincent to bomb a hill. And he, you can see he's strapped down, got the C100 on that. And we're hoping this works. It's a witch? It's a oh god, I thought it was like a dinosaur or something. That's the only she was just thing. jizzing on me, dude. Next spot. Hey, you got front flips on that or what? Oh, yeah. Oh, no, dude, I can't do that. No way. I'm not trying to hit stilts. I've never stilted before. Oh, those are stilts? <laughs> yeah. That is fucking gnarly. 